Ladies and gentlemen of the Shrek Gaming Telecom video, we're going to be talking about two graphics cards in this video. We're going to talk about the RX 480. Yes, that's right, the RX 480. It would appear that AMD are going ahead with the new naming convention. And also the GTX 1060. We're going to start out with AMD stuff first. Originally, I wasn't going to cover this, if I'm totally honest. But I decided to do it simply because... By the time Computex actually airs, it's going to be ridiculously late in the UK, and I won't be able to get to it until tomorrow. And secondly, we don't know actually what Computex is going to show off, or AMD rather, what Computex is going to show off. So, it makes sense for us to talk about this now, because some information has emerged which shows that the RX 480 is equivalent in performance to the GTX 970 980, also known as the GM204. Now, this card is running at 5.5 TFLOPs and 8GB of GDDR5 uh, memory on a 256-bit bus. That means that the card probably has around the 2300 stream processor mark and around 1200 MHz, but obviously it could be that it has a higher clock speed, for example 1400-1500 MHz and fewer stream processors, or it could have more stream processors and once again lower clock speed. There are several questions which hopefully Computex does answer. Not least of which, is there going to be a 480X? And if so, is that going to be at launch? If so, that means that theoretically speaking, this card's going to be more powerful, or there will be a more powerful version of the card, actually, to speak properly. Second thing that pops to mind, okay, it falls between the 970 and 980, but does that mean it's close to the 970? Does that mean it's smack bang in the middle? Or does it mean it's really close to the 980, but I don't feel confident enough to say that in all applications it performs as well as the 980? Or does it just depend upon the application in general? Does it pen depend rather on the clock speeds? Does it depend on a dozen other factors? For example, virtual reality, that type of stuff. It's too difficult to know. There is also the big elephant in the room. And we'll talk more about the GTX 1060 in a moment. But really, it comes down to pricing. Interestingly, there was a couple of reports floating about that AMD were actually demonstrating the RX 480 beating the GTX 1080 if it's in Crossfire. So just to clarify, the RX 480 in Crossfire can beat the GTX 1080. And considering the high price point of the 1080 at the moment, one can make a pretty compelling argument that the 480 is a really good upgrade for folks who are on a lower budget or for folks who maybe have a smaller screen now but then, let's say six months down the line, maybe want a bigger screen or higher resolution or to play with more detail, whatever. I guess the elephant remaining, because there are a couple of elephants, but the other elephant is the 5.5 T-flops. Now, the only time that you can say a T-flop is a T-flop is the same time that you can say that a clock speed is a clock speed. For example, if you were to tell me you've got a 4 gigahertz processor or a 3 gigahertz processor, well, yeah, but what's the processor? For example, if you have a Pentium 4 running at, let's say, 3 gigahertz or 4 gigahertz, that's not bad if you've, you know, for a Pentium 4 clock, but in terms of trying to run a modern day game, good luck. On the other hand, if you had like a Q6600 going back a bit and you were trying to run like one of those Core 2 quads at like, let's say, 4 gigahertz, it's fairly okay today. I mean, you're going to definitely run into CPU limitations, but you could probably muddle through. But if you have something along the lines of a high-end Haswell at, let's say, 4 gigahertz, then you're definitely going to be good. You're going to be pretty darn good. My point being, the clock speed is very much like T-flops. It's about the efficiency of the architecture. And that's why AMD's GPUs, which are rated at, let's say, 5 TFLOPs or 7 TFLOPs, are going to perform differently than NVIDIA's cards, which may be rated around the same speed. So, with that in mind, it's also very much the same with different iterations of GCN architecture. Just how, let's say, the 7970s um, had evolved into the 290s and then we saw the Tonga architecture so Hawaii Tonga 
we're now seeing the fourth generation of architectures from AMD, also known as Polaris. So what those efficiencies actually come to so we can get an actual idea of how 5.5 TFLOPs really performs is unknown. And I guess on the same subject, up to 5.5 TFLOPs, it's possible that you could read at that and say, well, okay, that's boost clocks, which is definitely like the maximum boost clock. So, for example, idle or regular clocks, it could be 5.1. Obviously, I'm just throwing out a number. Um, so, whether we're going to see an RX 480X, whether we're going to see um, higher end cards at all mentioned at the event, your guess is as good as mine. However, moving over to Camp Green. So, we don't have any. T Thorpe numbers, we don't have CUDA core numbers. What we do have is a leak, and I say that in the loosest possible sense, from Inno3D, who are of course a yet another vendor who produce uh, graphics cards, this time using um, NVIDIA uh, architecture. So the Pascal GP106 looks like it's going to feature at least 1280 CUDA cores. We've known that for a while, the number could be plus or minus a little. But from what we can understand, based upon the clock speeds that we've seen from the previous iterations of Pascal, for example, the 1070, 1080, and the fact that, well, many more than 1280 would probably put it way too competitive to the 1070, what we haven't known is exactly where it's going to stack up into the lineup. So at the moment, the 980 is about at the same level as the 1070. So the 980 tie is about on the same level as the 1070. However, interestingly, the 1060 is going to be roughly to the same level as the 980 or the 970. Hey, does that sound like anything I just mentioned a while back? Does that sound at all like the 480? Yeah. So it's going to be really interesting because it looks like the GTX 1060 and the RX 480 are going to be basically competing for the same market share. So really, I guess at that point, assuming it is true, and when it's released, there's going to be three questions as usual. One, what's the price of each? Two, what actually comes out on top for the applications you care about? Please, I, you know, it really annoys me, and I shouldn't really feel bugged by this because at the end of the day it's not my money but the amount of people who care about applications like 3d mark or what have you that don't actually play 3d mark or don't care about benching is insane like if you don't care about virtual reality don't care about the virtual reality benchmarks if you don't care about witcher 3 then don't look at the witcher 3 benchmarks because they don't, don't benefit you always look at the games which ultimately you are going to be playing at at the resolution you are going to be playing at. So for example, don't look at the benchmarks at 4K or 1440p if you're only playing on a 1080p screen. And I know that's probably preaching to the choir, but I've gotten a couple of questions regarding that and it always really baffles me. Anyway, so basically performance on the applications you care about, pricing of this one, and finally what are AMD going to be bringing to the table in terms of the rest of the uh, rest of the experience? For example, are we going to see other improvements to that ecosystem? Are we going to see better drivers? Which, to be fair, um, Catalyst down to the Crimson drivers was quite a large overhaul. But maybe they're going to add extra software in. Maybe they're going to add extra features. We know, for example, they're going to improve the connectivity with the latest support for uh, DisplayPort and all the other bits and bobs. So it's going to be really interesting, um, and I think it's going to be bloody great for customers. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.